Right guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically, I'm using a DJI Phantom 3 app in order to show you some real life situations. What I experience when flying my drone. Now basically, if you have a look here, you can see that my wind speed is set to nothing and that means there's no wind. So if we take off and slide this, we can see Take off. that the aircraft just takes vertically off into the air. And if we come to the landing, then it will just landing. land back down in a straight line. So what we're going to do now is we're going to increase the wind speed and we're going to bring that up to 10 meters a second. Now, just one second guys. So now we're coming up to 10 meters a second. Then I also need to adjust my wind direction. So I want a southerly west. So, okay, that's now updated. Now, normally in real life, when I fly at my favorite uh, place, I have a setup just like this, but on the left hand side of the road, I have a fence. So if you could imagine there's a fence here on the left hand side, if I take off now with the wind set at 10 meters a second, watch what the drone does. Remember take off. last time it flew straight up. Now as you could see then it actually took off and then it flew to the left. Now if that was real life I could have smashed into that fence what it is I'm talking about. If we have a look now then we can see that the quadcopter is holding its position so and that's because of the GPS so the GPS under wind speeds of 10 meters a second does very well however if I switch off this and if I go into atom mode you can see that the wind basically carries the drone away now if I switch back into GPS you can see that GP GPS has taken over and is fighting the wind on our behalf. Now the fun with drones happens when you've got to land again and that is the biggest challenge when you're flying in the wind. So if I just fly back to the <clears throat> beginning again what happens is that you have to decrease your thrust or decrease your speed, your power of the motors when you come into land but when you do this the wind can sometimes overpower your drone and you know your drone just basically goes all over the show making landing a very hard thing to do but in this case you know I've just I've managed to land anyway but let's restart this and let's move up to a wind speed of 20 meters a second and remember guys, on the left hand side of this road here in a simulator, imagine that there's a fence there. If you can imagine there's a fence, then you'll understand what it is that I have to face when I'm out flying, taking off my drone at my favourite spot. So here we go, we're now at 20 metres a second. And I'm going to change my perspective. And now, again, I'm going to take off automatically. And have a look what happens this time. Take off. You see that? It took off straight away. And not only that, have a look at that. It's not stopping, is it, guys? It's just flying away, even though we're in GPS. So what's happening at 20 meters a second, GPS or yourself manually cannot control the drone because that wind speed is just far too fast for the drone but if we restart again and we take off again then you will see that if I was in real life under these wind speeds I would have crashed my drone take off. into that fence what it is that I am talking about so this is why guys you need to be very careful with regards to the days you pick to fly your drone and the wind speeds it is that you choose to fly your drone. Right guys, I'm going to shoot on here. Thank you for tuning back into my channel and I'll catch you all later.